Today on the Young and Free St. Louis Show, travel tips. Welcome to the Young and Free St. Louis Show, the show that keeps you in the loop about events and contests and brings you all the tips and tricks you need to stay young and free. I'm your host and spokesperson, Rob Cartwright. Well, today I've got a few small tips that go right along with this week's blogs. They're going to help make your travel experience a little more enjoyable, so let's jump right in. So maybe you're going out of town for a week or longer and you have a lot of clothes to take but only a tiny suitcase to use. I'm going to show you how to fit all those clothes into here using the clown car technique. Now this way of packing is obviously going to wrinkle your clothes, so make sure you plan accordingly and leave enough time once you get to your destination to let the wrinkles fall out, hang up your clothes, or uh, do a little ironing. Something that's been really great over the past few years with the advancement of smartphones is that now our phones can pretty much tell us anything that we need to know. So here's a few of my favorite travel apps for when I'm on a trip, and even though I'm an iPhone user, I'm also going to talk about Android and Blackberry. If you're traveling and you're in a city that you don't know very well, there's some great apps out there to help you find out what's around you. Being an iPhone user, my personal favorite is a free app called Around Me and it also works for Android. Around Me finds your current location and then allows you to search for things like coffee shops, gas stations, hospitals, hotels, restaurants, supermarkets, and more. Now Blackberry users suggest using the Google Maps app. It's free and it pretty much does the same thing. Now, if you're an organization junkie, you might want to check out a free app called TripIt. TripIt works for iPhone, Android, and Blackberry, and what it allows you to do is to sync all your travel itineraries onto your phone. So in your phone, you can have your flight numbers, your hotel reservation numbers, your dinner reservations. Everything is synced to a calendar with a time code, and you can set alarms for yourself, and basically just have your entire itinerary organized down to the minute if you want to. Another favorite free app of mine that you can also get on all three phones is the Weather Channel app. This app is kind of like having a mobile version of the weatherchannel.com right on your phone. You can access weather that's happening now, hourly, uh, 36 hours, and also a 10 day forecast. So when you're out traveling, you can know exactly what the weather is going to be. Another great app that I don't really use on a daily basis, but I definitely do when I'm traveling, is Foursquare. Foursquare allows you to check in to a restaurant or a hotel or a store or something like that and sometimes get a discount. So when I'm traveling, saving money is always great. Another app that I use a lot when I'm out is Free Wi-Fi Finder. It's available for all three phones and it's free. And obviously it's very self-explanatory. It finds your free Wi-Fi. Now while you're out traveling, you probably have a camera on you, but when something kind of spur of the moment happens, you might not be able to get it out in time. Chances are your phone is a little more accessible and you also have the added bonus of uploading those photos directly to Facebook or Twitter or whatever as soon as you take them. Also, smartphones take pretty good photos these days, but there are a few apps out there that can help you take even better ones. This very popular free app is available for iPhone and Android and it's called Instagram. Instagram allows you to take a picture and then apply a filter to it to make it look like a vintage Polaroid. Then you can upload it to Facebook, Twitter, or Flickr with one touch. Now, if you're a BlackBerry user, you might want to check out a free app called PixTrix. Now, if you've been following me at all on vacation this week, you've probably seen this next app used a lot. It's called Camera Plus. It's only available for iPhone and it costs $1.99. Basically, what it does is it turns your iPhone into a typical point-and-shoot camera. You can apply scene modes when you're taking a photo, like cloudy, sunny, uh, portrait, landscape, and it really opens up the possibilities of taking a photo on iPhone. The $1.99 price tag is well worth it and I highly recommend it. Now, I don't really know of 
camera enhancement apps for Android or Blackberry because I don't own one, but if you're a user and you use an app like that, please leave them in the comments below because I would love to know. And that about wraps up this episode of the Young Free St. Louis Show. If you have any travel tips, please leave them in a comment below, or you can head on over to our Facebook page and join in the discussion over there. And as always, you can also check us out on Twitter. Thanks for watching. Until next time, this is Ralph Cartwright signing off.